dating in 2019 is no different than 2018. I know a lot of guys are wondering how is it that I can meet someone that I'm interested in? You know, what kind of lines am I supposed to use when meeting somebody? What's that great one liner to interact with a female? What kind of game do I need to have? And the reality is none of that shit matters. People maybe think, well, you know, oh, you've got to be, you know, the Chad type or you have to be like a baller, you know, making all those kinds of money or you got to be a celebrity. You got to be famous on YouTube, famous on Instagram, etc. The reality is it's not not reality. It's not true. I guess being 39 now, having dated I guess several hundred women at this point um, is very obvious to me and for the past I'd say about 10 or so years now that the most important thing that you can do and say to a woman to make her and keep her attracted to you is no. The reason being is because one of the first things that a woman will do is try to dictate the relationship, whether you first first just met, whether it's someone that you work with or someone that you know in your past, one of the first things that will happen very often when you first meet a woman during the interaction is a request will be made, right? Maybe you're at a bar or at a lounge or um, inviting a friend out and you want to do something. Let's say, for example, you know, I'm going to head down to this bar. Um, let me know if you'd like to meet me. And the person might say, well, I don't want to go there. Why don't you take me out to dinner? Why don't you make a dinner reservation? What would you say? If it was someone that you were really attracted to, you might you feel the desire to change your plans when you first wanted to just do this simple task maybe you wanted to go see this particular movie or you wanted to go have a drink and watch a game at a bar and of course the reply is that the person wants to do something else would you be bold enough to say no especially if you're attracted to that person you're interested in that person you're interested in getting to know that person and why is that very prevalent in our day where women tend to try to dictate where the relationship or where the date per se will go. It's primarily because someone always has to lead in a relationship, whether that relationship is a first date or a 10 year marriage, someone has to lead that relationship. And if you're the man or if you are the more dominant one, it should always be you. And so I guess I'm speaking from a heterosexual standpoint. Um, 39-year-old Hispanic male. Been living in Manhattan for the past ooh, like eight years now. And from my dating experience and from the dating experience that I've seen of coworkers and friends and high school, you know, classmates, etc. The prevalence of why relationships typically fail is because the man doesn't know how to say no. Whether it's where are we going on vacation, whether it's where are we going to eat, or what movie they're interested in seeing, where are we going to live. The prevalence is for men to be afraid of saying no. They're typically afraid of losing the interaction with that person, thinking that if I say no, then you know she'll be mad she'll be upset she'll be less likely to want to go on me or maybe she'll just reject my advance altogether right because maybe you were really wanting to see this person you finally worked up the courage to ask them out and they want to do something different should you be flexible the answer in that scenario is no the reason being is because women typically are the ones who choose who they're going to date and interact with. As a man, it's your responsibility to, I guess, start the interaction, right? You make the engagement, you make the approach, you put out the offer, and they choose whether to accept or not. 
So when a person chooses to accept, they're choosing to go along with what you've set forth, right? If you said, I want to, we're just going to go out and have a drink, right? Maybe you've met this girl and you don't want to waste a lot of money going out. And you're like, hey, let's go to the bar. We'll go to happy hour. We'll just have a drink. Uh, we'll stay there for a little bit. And then she shows up and she says something like, oh, I haven't eaten all day. Can we get something to eat? Might you be afraid to say no? You might think, shoot, if I say no and she'll just be like, well, I'm hungry. I'm just going to go do this, right? Then you'd have to let that person go because you were just, you don't know the person. You're just trying to get to know the person and you're trying to minimize the investment that you're putting into getting to know this person. The best way to do that is to be straightforward and say, no, this is what you were going to do. Or maybe you can go back and, you know, once we're done here, if you want to get something to eat afterwards, sure. You know, I'm, I don't have a lot of, or you might say like, I don't have a lot of time. Just really wanted to grab a drink real quick. If you want to get something after, that's fine. Uh, but it's very important, and I think a lot of men nowadays don't know how to say no when it comes to even some of the most simple of things. Um, it's very prevalent. You see it. You see a lot of in society. In you know, I work in a hospital. From the hospital standpoint, people are very afraid being using the word no when it comes to when it comes to women. Because they're worried, you know, they're going to get offended. Might they make a scene? And it ends up causing problems in the long term, especially with the male-female interactions that we see today. People having, a, especially men, are having a hard time coming to meeting women with the dating environment the way it is, the yes means yes, the hashtag me too. You know, when it comes to who should pay for a first date, you know, et cetera, things of that nature. Men are typically having, especially now, are having a harder time when it comes to their interactions with women with saying no. And the reason that no from a man's point is so very powerful when you say it to a woman is because it lets that person know that you're in charge. And the reason that that's important is because that's what works. If you look back at the dating scene, the way humanity has grown, men have always been in charge. And there is no society where men are not in charge. At least there is no society where that will flourish over time and will stand throughout time where men are not in charge. And especially when it just comes to the day-to-day -day interactions with the person that you're interested in, is because there will always, especially now, be the struggle for power within the relationship. And so to really maximize your relationship potential as a man, it's very important to know how and when to say no. If you feel that you can't afford something, and you feel you might feel pressured into doing something. Maybe they want to go to this fancy restaurant and you realize that's not really a good investment for your money. Say no. If you had the plans, you wanted to go out and see this particular movie and you were invited. Maybe you had a group of girls that you were interested in and you kind of message everybody and say, you know, who wants to go see? I'm going to see this movie. Who wants to come? And then some people are like, oh, I don't want to see that. Can we go see this? Pick the ones that are willing to go along with you and what you're willing and what you're wanting to do. The reason being is because it makes it a lot easier in relationships. I think for the most part, there has always been this emphasis on, well, if she's happy, then you'll be happy. And that's not the case, because just because she's happy, it doesn't necessarily mean that you'll be happy. And relationships are typically flourish more when you, as the man who dictates where the relationship is going is happy because she will be happy when you're able to express your happiness towards her and towards being satisfied with her as a companion 
because realistically, from a male standpoint, there isn't much that I particularly need when it comes to everyday day of my life. I've been living on my own for many, many years, earned a very healthy living, travel often, cook, clean, etc. It's like for the most part, the only thing that like that you're really looking for is sexual encounters, whether it's uh, you know one night stands or short long term relationships. But for a real relationship to last, that person has to know and respect when I say no. And so I really think that that's something that a lot of men should learn to do very early on when they meet someone. For example, if you were at a bar and you walked up to someone that you were interested in meeting and the person said, well, why don't you buy me a drink, right? You're at a bar and they said, well, you know, if you really want to get to talk, get to know me, you want to talk to me, if you want my number, then you should buy me a drink. What would you do? If she was attractive and there were a lot of other guys that were there that were wanting to talk to her, would you be strong enough to just say no? Or would you cave and think, shoot, if I don't, you know, buy her this drink, you know, she's not going to talk to me. I've seen that very often uh, when I've been out at the clubs, at the bars, and the lounges. A lot of times when I go out, I kind of enjoy people watching. It's very fun to see how, you know, guys try to interact and you see like the fails of the guys trying to approach women. And so from a funny experience that I had was I was at this club one day and it was very obvious. I can tell when a woman is attracted to another man and, or if she's attracted to me. I'm pretty quick when it comes to interacting with women and just going and walking out real quick, grabbing the number and keep it moving. And so it was very obvious and I could tell that he was interested in, in her. And so I pulled him over. I was like, hey, why don't you go talk to that girl? I was like, she's attracted. And he's like, really? And I'm like, yeah, it's very obvious. I was like, but when you go over there, I said, and I didn't know this guy. I didn't know who he was. I was, and I was out by myself. And I typically am used to going out by myself to clubs and bars, etc. At this point, you know, living in the city, it's very easy for me. And so I remember telling him, I was like, whatever you do, do not buy that girl a drink. Just walk over there, say hi, ask her her name, wait until she gives you her name, and see if she responds by giving you her name. I was like, if she does, hold out your phone and say, I just came to get your phone number and walk away. And of course, he went over there and he partially did that. And she was there with other girls. And so he went over there. He was really excited to meet her because she was attractive. At least she, he was attracted to her. And he walks over to her and really quickly she says, why don't you buy me a drink? And so he says, okay. And I was like watching him and I was like, oh, fucking guy, it doesn't listen. So I was like, whatever, I'm still watching, watching the interaction between them. And very quickly, she was there with other girls and very quickly her girlfriends come running over and like, we want to leave. This place sucks. Let's go. And so they grab her by the hand and like four of her girlfriends are pulling on her and he's holding on to her with his left hand and he's holding on to her hand and he's like, oh, don't go. Let's chat. End of the story is. She didn't, he wasted money buying a drink for a girl. She ended up not drinking it. He ended up not getting the phone number. All because he couldn't say no. And I've seen that happen many, many times. I've been living in the city for the past eight years. Been to all the bar clubs, lounges that are out here. And one of the biggest problems that I see is the inability of men afraid of saying no and feeling sorry afterwards because these women just end up using them for for drinks you know it's, it's fucking hilarious and so i think when it comes to trying to to meet somebody that you're interested in very early on in the relationship you should get used to saying no and if you do that you'll find yourself interacting with more women who'll be interested in you because they'll look at you and they'll wonder every other guy that I make requests of typically fulfill those requests. You know, they're so super eager to meet me and impress me. 
But there's something different about this guy that he is not looking to do any of those things. And from the female's perspective, it typically works out. It's, for, it's, it's, I know guys might not understand it. Um, and it just really works out because you're, you're in essence challenging them. And a lot of men are afraid to challenge women nowadays. And it's probably because there aren't a lot of fathers that are living in the homes. You have a lot of single, single birth, single family households, and there aren't males there to teach men how to interact with women. But this is in particular one of, one of, I think the most important aspects for a male to learn very early on in his interaction with females is learning how to say 